How's it going there, YouTube? Today I will be making me a little bit of strawberry wine. I figured I'd take y'all along for the ride. Um, I believe I have all my equipment sanitized. Everything is clean and sanitized. I'm ready to start adding my strawberries to my bucket. I have my sugar water boiling. Um, so I believe we are ready to get started. All right, so the place that I get my, my strawberries from they take and take all the stems off of them so I don't have to go through all that and do that. They also freeze them so that the cell walls can be, you know, broken down a little bit more. So whenever I get them, all I have to do is defrost them and smash them. So that's what we're doing right now. So now that we have our strawberries mashed up, I like to mash them as I go. It's a little bit easier to do it like that. Um, but now we're going to add all our additives to this before we add our sugar water i got just about at four gallons see it's just, just about four gallons in my bucket plus i got two gallons of sugar water so that'll be the six gallons i need i might add a little bit more just to just to compensate for loss later on all right so we added our water um we're gonna go through this and try to smash what we can. And then we're gonna let it sit overnight. And then uh, in the morning, or this tonight, later on tonight, I'll add my yeast nutrient. And then once I add my yeast nutrient, then uh, we'll cover it up and for the night. And then uh, in the morning, I'll pitch my yeast, throw my old yeast in there, and we'll let it sit for a week. And then we'll get to squeezing the berries out. And then, uh, yeah, it'll just be a uh, waiting time then. All right, so we left off with putting our yeast into our bucket and uh, mashing up all our little berries. Well, it's been a little time. I had to go to work, so it's been like two weeks. So today we are straining and or mashing what we can to get all the juice out of the strawberry. Okay, so here we go. This is our wine. That's a little floating strawberry. We're going to get him out of there. And uh, with the thing with strawberry wine is, is that you get um, seeds. Okay, so we have gotten down to where, I didn't use any bag or anything. So we've gotten down to where the lay, lay, lays, lees, the lees, I don't know how you say it. But basically all the, all the juice and the strawberries, right? So what's left? All the solids are still down there. As you can see, we're kind of kicking them up. I'm trying to be a little careful because I don't want all of it. I just want some of it. Obviously. I'm going to try to strain this as best I can. That way I don't have to have all this all the time. So when I get down a little bit lower, I'm going to try to fit me a little, little bag or something, a little net so I can strain it even smaller than the strainer on here is. So... Uh, if I find something, I'll be back. So a little update on this, it's working pretty well. Um, it's not leaking, so it's doing its job, but this will obviously set for a long time. I just don't want it to be full of, full of this stuff. So this is all still good stuff. It's not, it looks nasty, but it's still all good stuff. It's just the, the strawberries. And I found with strawberries that if you do a bag, it doesn't end up this bad, but you do end up having to deal with all this stuff. So I just, I decided not to even bother with it. It's kind of gelatinous. It's kind of very strange material. You interested in the wine, bro? Yeah, you interested in the wine. So since it's draining really, really slow, I don't have a problem with this. Um, you can use cheesecloth, but I didn't have none. So I just put a piece of paper towel on there. Should be alright, keep the majority of the, the lays or lees or whatever you want to call it out. 
So I'm gonna try to use that. Obviously, I'm, I'm trying not to overload it and just you know try to leave most of it in here to where I don't it doesn't even go into there because obviously that's gonna clog up eventually. So we'll continue on like we were. Okay, so a little bit of an update. We have slowed to a drip. I need a better system for this. Strawberries are particularly, because they just turn into nothing, man. Strawberries are very particular with this problem. I need a filter press. Hey, hey, I'm trying to make a video. <laughs> anyway, the little boy's hungry, so I'm gonna feed him and then I'm gonna figure out either some way or somehow to figure this out. The last time we left off, we had our strawberries into our big mouth bubbler and strained. Um, I only ended up getting five gallons of wine out of that out of my 30 pounds of strawberries that I used. I don't like to use a lot of water because I feel like the wine starts to get watered down. I don't know, it's, it, it's very hard to explain. So the, the flavor seems very low. So anyway, so I'm trying to get away from using any types of water and just strictly fruit juice. So I used the 30 pounds, only got five gallons of, of um, five gallons of wine out of the 30 pounds of strawberries. So I ordered a smaller carboy, a, a five gallon carboy. And um, yeah, so I added, I transferred it into the carboy and um, I'm gonna let that bulk age for, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight months, something like that. The only time that I'm gonna do anything else with it is I'm gonna take and get it out of, off the, the sediment if there's a lot that piles up. I didn't get a whole lot out of the, the big mouth bubbler, so I think I may be okay for a little while, but um, anything that does settle out, I'm going to try to get it off of that and uh, try to keep the wine as clean as I can because um, when I go to bottle it, I don't want to have to deal with any of that stuff if I need to get to the very last part of it. If you want to see me put, bottles, put it in bottles, let me know in the comment section below. And um, other than that, I appreciate y'all watching it. Please like, subscribe, share. If you like the video, if not, hit the dislike button. 